everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new release DC Comics Multiverse 6 inch The Flash TV series reverse flash figure from Mattel. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we've been seeing with all the Multiverse figures. You've got the red box with the black highlights, you've got the Flash TV series logo up at the top, along with the DC Comics Multiverse logo. The figure's clearly displayed in the window box packaging, and then down below we have an uh, image of the character from the TV show, the name, and it also tells us it comes with the Collect and Connect Justice Buster figure piece. On the side of the packaging we have again an image of the character from the TV show and a brief bio for the character, and then on the back of the packaging we have a bio for the Multiverse line. A look at all the figures in the wave that you need to get in order to complete the Justice Buster, collect and connect figure, and then a look at the Justice Buster itself. So all these figures are out on shelves now. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now the only accessory this figure comes with is the Justice Buster Collect and Connect figure piece. And basically it's two pieces that you've put together to create the torso of the Justice Buster. Now we'll be looking at the Justice Buster in its own review after we've looked at all the figures that make up the Justice Buster. So we've got Flash today, Reverse Flash today, and then we've got the Batman figure which we'll look at tomorrow, and then we'll take a look at the Justice Buster figure in its own review so be sure to check back for that. For the figure itself I think Mattel overall has done a pretty nice job with this figure. Now this figure does use much of the same parts as they did with the regular Flash figure. Um, these, uh, It's not completely it's not just a straight repaint there are some different uh, parts but it does use some of the same parts between the two figures. So basically um, the upper torso on this reverse Flash is different from the regular flash. You've got that sculpting line work on his chest which um, you don't have on the regular flash so I do like that. You've also got these little uh, think lines on, on his lower uh, chest area um, which which is accurate to what we see in the TV show and is not on, on that flash. So that all seems to be different. Also on the back of the figure there's some differences on the upper torso here. You've got this gold line work on the regular flash which isn't on, on the reverse flash. The upper arms also appear to be uh, different um, different sculpting with the line work and again everything in the texturing so the upper arms do appear to be different the lower arms and the hands appear to be the same so they do appear to both share the same lower arms and then from the uh, waist down under the belt the belts are different um, the regular flash has an Audi belt buckle and the reverse flash has an any belt buckle and they are a little bit different with the striping so the belts appear to be a little bit different but then under the belts all down to the feet all appear to be the same and then the head sculpts I think are the same um, you've got different skin tones between the two flashes and then you've got the eyes painted in with the red and the white on the eyes which makes it look a little bit different but I'm pretty sure they're the same um, otherwise you know on the back of the mask you actually have the same line work on on both masks and then you've got the lightning bolts which on the reverse flash are painted differently basically all red but again I'm pretty sure that the heads are actually the same head sculpts on on these two figures then here's a comparison with the DC Collectibles TV Reverse Flash. Now this is uh, this DC Collectible one came in a, a, a Blu-ray box set so it was exclusive. There is actually going to be a, a Reverse Flash release on single card from DC Collectibles which has not yet been released. But you can see the detail between the two is pretty similar. They both have that line work up here on his upper chest. Now the yellow on this Mattel version is a, is a much brighter yellow than what's on the Flash but they both have the black kind of wash work on the leg. Um, you do have more prominent red striping on the legs again because I think that's a reuse of the flash figure which aren't on the on the DC collectible one and then you've got the red markings on the on the shoes which are pretty much the same so overall you know other than brighter colors and, and such I think these figures are pretty comparable I would say maybe the detailing is a little you know the paint applications and stuff are a little nicer on the DC collectible one which is basically to be expected this figure stands a little bit over six inches about six and a quarter inches tall 
practically the same height as the Flash figure, which probably isn't too accurate. I think Reverse Flash should be a little bit taller than, than Barry Allen. I won't swear to it, but I think he was a little bit taller in the TV show. Here's a look at all the six inch multiverse figures that we've looked at already, not including the Batman, which we'll look at tomorrow. And you can see the Flash figures are probably the shortest of the bunch. Arrow is a little bit taller with the hood and the Superman, there are 23 Supermans, maybe a hair taller. And then the Joker figure is taller than all of them. So articulation on this figure is pretty much the same as the regular Flash figure, so if you have that one, you know what to expect, but we'll go over it real quick. With the head, you can just turn left and right, but he really has no up or down movement with the head. He can get his arm out about that much, and he's got pretty good rotation there at the shoulder. He does not have a bicep swivel, but he does have the swivel at the elbow. It's a single hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow about that much, and then you've got the swivels on the wrists. No midsection joint, but he does have a waist swivel. You've You've got those side hinge joints for the leg so you can do the splits good, you can get the leg forward pretty good, and you can do the leg back pretty good. Does have a thigh swivel, single hinge knee so he can bend his knee about that much, and then he's got the hinges on the feet so he's got good up and down movement but no, no ankle pivot. And then two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I like this figure. It's not quite as detailed as the DC collectible one, which is pretty much to be expected, but I do think it's a decent looking figure, and if you're more into the six inch figures as opposed to the seven inch figures, and you're into collecting the DC comic TV universe uh, characters, then I think this is one you'll definitely want to add to your collection. So this figure is out on shelves now. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There's a link in the description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on either Facebook or Twitter. I'll have links to those pages on my in the video description. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.